Every October 16, the Roman Catholic Church celebrates the life of St. Margaret Mary Alacoque, the French nun whose visions of Christ helped to spread devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Alacoque was born July 22, 1647, in La Haute-Cour, Burgundy, France. She was the fifth of seven children and the only daughter of Claude and Philiberté Lamon Alacoque. Unfortunately, her father passed away when she was only eight. The family's assets were held by an uncle who refused to hand them over, plunging her family into poverty. From an early age, Margaret already showed intense love for the Blessed Sacrament. She was sent to a convent school run by the poor Clares in Charles, where she made her first communion at the age of nine. During this time, she contracted rheumatic fever which confined her to bed for four years. It is said that only after making a vow to the Blessed Virgin Mary to consecrate herself to religious life, her health became stable and she immediately recovered. In recognition of this favor, she added the name, Mary, to her baptismal name of Margaret. According to her later account of her life, she had visions of Jesus Christ, which she thought were a normal part of human experience, and continued to practice austerity. When her brother came of age, he took the disputed possession of their home and things began to improve. Her mother encouraged her to socialize in the hopes of finding a suitable husband. Out of obedience and believing that her childhood vow was no longer binding, she began to accompany her brothers in the social events, attending dances and balls. However, one night while returning from a dance, she had a vision where she saw Christ being scourged and bloody. Margaret felt that she had betrayed Jesus by pursuing the pleasures of the world rather than following her vow. Thus, she decided to fulfill her vow and entered the Visitation Convent at Paray le Monial on May 25, 1671. Margaret first wore the religious habit three months after she entered and became a nun on November 6, 1672. Sister Margaret has several revelations of the Sacred Heart, the first came on December 27, 1673. The visions revealed to her the form of the devotion, the first being the reception of the Holy Communion every first Friday of each month. The second was the Eucharistic Adoration during a Holy Hour every Thursday, where she was instructed to spend an hour every Thursday night in meditation on Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane. The Holy Hour practice later became widespread among Roman Catholics. And finally, the celebration of the Feast of the Sacred Heart. During the Feast of St. John, Sister Margaret Mary said that Jesus had permitted her to rest her head upon his heart, and then disclosed to her the wonders of his love, telling her that he desired to make them known to all mankind and to diffuse the treasures of his goodness, and that he had chosen her for this work. She was able to convince her superior, Mother de Samez, however, the latter was unable to convince a Benedictine and a Jesuit with whom she consulted. She was also unsuccessful in convincing the members of her own community. Sometime around 1681, Alacoque wrote a personal testament, passionately donating her life completely to Jesus with her own blood. With the permission of her superior, she used a knife to carve the name of Jesus into her breast above her heart and used the blood to sign the document. Sister Perone Rosalie Grafi, at present superioress, and for whom Sister Margaret Mary daily asks conversion with the grace of final penitence. Sister Margaret Mary, disciple of the Divine Heart of the Adorable Jesus. She eventually received the support of Father Claude de la Colombière, the community's confessor, who declared that the visions were genuine, Father Claude would later be canonized as a saint of his own account. Through Father Claude's advice, she reached a point of inner peace, no longer concerned with the hostility of others in her community. In 1683, opposition in the community ended when Mother Melin was elected superior and named Sister Margaret Mary her assistant. She later became a novice mistress and saw the monastery observe the Feast of the Sacred Heart privately, beginning in 1686. Two years later, a chapel was built at Paray le Monial to honor the Sacred Heart. Observation of the Feast of the Sacred Heart spread to other visitation convents. In 1689, Sister Margaret Mary had another vision of Jesus Christ and asked to urge the King of France, Louis XIV, to consecrate the nation to the Sacred Heart so that he may be triumphant over all the enemies of the Holy Church. 
Sister Margaret Mary never received any reply until her death on October 17, 1690. It is believed that either King Louis XIV never received the letter or that he simply refused to reply. After Alacoque's death, the devotion to the Sacred Heart was continued by the Jesuits though it remained controversial within the Catholic Church. The practice was not officially recognized for 75 years. The Sacred Congregation of Rites eventually recognized her heroic virtues, granting her the title, Servant of God. In March 1824, Pope Leo XII pronounced her venerable and on September 18, 1864, Pope Pius IX declared her blessed. When her tomb was opened in July 1830, two instantaneous cures were recorded. Her body rests above the side altar in the Chapel of the Apparitions, located at the Visitation Monastery in Parela Monial, which draws pilgrims from all parts of the world. Alacoque was canonized by Pope Benedict XV in 1920, and in 1929 her liturgical commemoration was included in the general Roman calendar for celebration every October 17, the day of her death. In the reforms of 1969, the feast day was moved to October 16. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.